Well, hello, good morning, and welcome back to Here Today, Where Tomorrow. In this episode, we explore the observation deck and indulge at the specialty chocolate shop on board. We hang out on the deck for some tunes before heading to the theater where we were blown away by the show Six. All that and more starts now. Well, hello, good morning, and welcome back. Uh, day three, see day two, um, still in the middle of the ocean. Rocking our way downtown, down south. Um, we had to jump forward an hour, time zone wise, so it should be like eight o'clock, but it's technically nine. So we're a little late getting started late, because it's nine. Um, most of like Taste and Savor, their breakfast end at 9.30. Um, the local, uh, I think goes to like 11. So I think we're gonna go ahead to the local and do breakfast there. Hopefully it's not super overrun, but I have a feeling it might be. But uh, today's agenda, it looks like it's gonna be nice and sunny. It's a little bit warmer. Um, it's been kind of cool the last couple of days, but as we're moving south towards the equator, it's getting a little bit warmer. So we're hoping that we can get Madison uh, on the splash pad and uh, maybe go check out some water slides or something like that. But it depends. It's still kind of cool. So we might have to wait until we're like docked somewhere uh, because the as the ship's moving, you get that automatic breeze and uh, it just adds a little bit of a little bit of a, a little nip in the air, a little chill. But all right, so let's go check out the local for breakfast. Well, we made it to the local for breakfast. They have a smaller menu for their breakfast, unlike uh, the main dining room. Um, but it's got a couple of things that I wanted to check out on it, like the corned beef hash. So I'll throw a picture of the menu up here. I don't think they have a digital version of their breakfast menu. Uh, so I'll just throw that up there. Um, and run back to the room, because I almost forgot my emergency rations, AKA my coffee creamer. So. Pro tip, if you, uh, if you are a coffee connoisseur like I am, a, a, I say coffee, if you're a creamer connoisseur like I am, uh, then bring your own creamer. They do have a Starbucks on board here, um, and we have enjoyed the Starbucks a couple of times, um, but I just love having that morning coffee. So, okay, so I think we're getting ready to order. Then I'm gonna do the uh, corned beef hash, yeah, over easy is good. Um, the buttermilk pancakes. Um, can I do a bagel with cream cheese? Lots of cream cheese? Bagel and cream cheese. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. As you can tell, we are back in the room. Um, we went to the local and had breakfast. A little disappointed in the uh, corned beef hash. Um, it was just like some bits of potato and some bits of ham. Wasn't really like mixed together well. Eggs were good, bagel was good. Um, I really did enjoy it. Um, the pancakes were really nice and soft. The, I usually cut through pancake and it takes a little bit. This like I sliced through like I was had a hot knife on melted butter. It was really nice, pretty good. Um, and uh, then we went up to the observation lounge and kind of walked around a little bit, sat. I did a little time lapse of us just kind of hanging out for a little while. Um, it got kind of noisy in there. Obviously, this ship was built for Alaska sailings people that are in interiors or ocean views, things like that, you want to observe. You want to look for whales and you want to look at the fjords and, and any sort of glaciers or anything. So they have this huge observation lounge for people that don't have balconies like us at the moment. Obviously, we're not doing an Alaskan cruise and it's beautiful outside right now, so that's not really the case for us. We don't really need that. Um, 
but they do have like small little buffet type stuff in there. So it was kind of nice, but it was just a little bit loud. Um, so we decided to come back here. Madison's gonna do some coloring and Katie and I are just gonna chill on the balcony and watch the waves go by. You wanna check out this chocolate place and see if we can get some chocolate? Yellow one. You want the yellow one? Yes, what is it called? So these are some chocolates. This is a key lime shell. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and break it in half. Yep. Yeah. So this is the key lime one. And I'll try the key lime one. Mm. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, hang on. So now, do you want to try this pistachio one? The heart one? Okay, so let me pull this out. We got our pistachio one. Let me break it up. A broken heart. What do you think? Mmm, okay. You want to eat the fruit off of there? I think that's like a piece of cake, like a sponge cake. You can eat it. Okay, you don't want to eat that. That's mint leaves. It smells nice though. Okay, yeah, this one's going to be... Er, no, no, you want to get some of the sauce. So we want to... Break that up. Whoa. What? This is going to be a big bite. So this is white chocolate, raspberry, key lime something. Mmm. Mm. Big bite. <laughs> that was a big bite. Because we had such a late breakfast, girls aren't really hungry. Jesus, scare me. Gentlemen, uh, Captain, we uh, do an update. Oh. Okay. So what I was saying before we were interrupted by the captain, uh, because we didn't have, we had a really late breakfast. The girls decided they don't want to have lunch, so I'm gonna go to the garden cafe, which is uh, the buffet, and just kind of walk around a little bit. Really want a salad. Um, so yeah, so I think we're just gonna kind of walk around. We just had an interesting experience on the elevator. We got stuck on an elevator that would only go down and not up. And so it's like Tower of Terror. It's pretty fun. But a lot of people out here by the pool. Well, let's go check out the buffet. Hello. Burger bar, pasta, soups, pizza, carving station. Lots of different areas to choose from. Good amount of seating available, even though it's 12.30 on a sea day. It's not bad. Looks like we got some focaccia bread. So this actually looks over the observation deck, I believe. We got a bar in the back here, which is pretty nice. Yeah, very nice. Here, we'll break away real quick. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, there's a dainty. And I'm overseeing the observation deck here. It's pretty neat. And that's the front of the ship right there. So. Salad bar. Definitely want to go there. Some noodle soups. Taste of Asia. Isn't India part of Asia? 
Hi, afternoon. Sandwiches and cold cuts, pretty neat. Now we're on the other side of all of these. Hot entrees, desserts. There's your scoop ice cream, some jello, some fruit. We'll walk to the middle here. Well, I was really hoping for that Cobb salad yesterday at the local and uh, they never brought it to me. So I've been thinking a lot about that for the last day and decided I was just gonna go to the buffet and make my own. So here I am with a massive salad. One thing I do really appreciate about Norwegian is in their buffets, your uh, silverware, napkin, fork, knife, are at every table. So you never have to go hunting for them. Um, I find that that's such a like, small thing to, to do to have them here on the table, but it makes such a world of a difference in convenience. And that's super important to me, especially like with Madison, she can't hold her own plate. She can't reach all the stuff. And so like, I always have to have one hand for my stuff, one hand for her stuff. And then to also have to carry silverware or something like that. It's just, it's always a juggle. I end up sticking my pocket full of knives and forks, trying to find a place to put it. When in reality, something like this, I have ketchup, mustard, I have salt and pepper and a whole thing of, you know, sugar and sweet and low and half and half, or whatever. And then I have all my silverware here and napkins and everything. And it's great because I don't have to go searching for any of those things. They're all right here at my fingertips. Uh, and it's just, I think it's just a, a really great way to do things. I think Norwegian has a couple of really good things that um, I really appreciate. Time is over, playtime begins. Unfortunately, between the hours of like three and five, nothing's really open food wise except um, the local. So we are going to go to the local. Try again on that Cobb salad, maybe. Um, go get some wings, you know, do the old pub stuff. Okay, then I'm gonna do the um, loaded nachos and the uh, Reuben. And uh, I'll also do the uh, Coney, Highland, uh, Coney Island hot dog with everything. Yep. We're tired waiting for our food. Sleepies. Mm. So uh, we are at the local, being treated like a foreigner. Um, like I said, between the hours of three and five, this is the only place that's open. So everybody's here. Everybody's here? Yeah, hang on. Here, I'll pull you in closer so you don't fall over. Um, so yeah, everybody's here, yeah, and uh, everybody's here. everybody is here. Yeah. Everybody's here. What did you order? Hot dog. A hot dog, and I got a Coney Island chili dog, and, and some nachos, and mommy got a hot dog. What is we doing? Everybody's getting hot dogs. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Took a little bit longer than expected, but all is well. Um, Every time we go to order, he says, I'll come back around and you can order dessert. And then they just never come back around. So we've gone there three times now, two of which were during meal times where the cheesecake, it is a like strawberry white chocolate or something, raspberry chocolate swirl. And uh, two times now we've gone, two times they've said, we'll come back, two times, They've not come back. <laughs> They're busy, I get it. But still, 
why don't you just let me order it on the front end and then it can just sit there looking at me while I'm eating my food. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I don't need it, clearly. But uh, yeah, so we have come to the waterfront, which has become a place that we are really enjoying. Um, it's very quiet, like it's just quiet enough. Sometimes I find on cruise ships, the decks are just constantly loud. And not even just with people, there's just ambience, music, <clears throat> that's just always happening. And uh, sometimes I just want to like take a breather from reggaeton, you know, or whatever. So um, this place out here, the waterfront, is very quiet and very calm. And uh, there's a good amount of people here right now, but uh, everybody is quietly talking amongst themselves, you know. Nothing too crazy, so. Uh, we got a couple hours till our uh, reservation for the show six. So that's just the next thing on the agenda. I think we're just gonna hang out here for a bit until, uh, until then. Okay, so it's hard to see me, I know, because I'm in the theater um, and we can't film the show, but we did make it here to uh, six. We are second row. We wanted to get as close as possible to give Madison the most experience. Um, Again, I can't film it, uh, but I'll let you know how it goes. Well, we made it back to the room. A successful second sea day. Third day aboard, and we are looking forward to another couple of days on board. Uh, the show was awesome. I love the fact that it was a live band. Um, that is super fun, having a live band on stage. Uh, it really helps bring the music into it, you know, when, when there's not these big, massive backing tracks and not a soul playing an instrument, or worse, people pretending to play instruments over top of a backing track uh, kills me. But um, that was awesome. The It was a full female band, and they rocked. And then all the women, it was just the six of them. There wasn't like a chorus or a chorus singers. It was literally just the six queens, if you will, or wives of Henry VIII. And um, strong vocals. Um, Minimum choreography, good choreography, but minimum really focused on the vocals and the storytelling, which was really great. Costume design was also really great. We didn't really have like a dinner per se. We did like a later lunch. What would you call it? So you have breakfast and lunch is brunch. What would you call a lunch and dinner? Liner? Dunch? Anyways, so we had a late night snack, if you will. Uh, late night being... 8.30, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's been a long day, I'm tired. Uh, it's time to go to bed. Tomorrow, Puerto Vallarta, we don't have any excursions. We are keeping our cruises as uh, inexpensive as we can because we like to cruise more often and we can afford more cruises if we don't spend a lot of money while in ports. So, um, you know, save a couple hundred bucks by not doing three people on a catamaran and that's another solo cruise for me so you know it's kind of it, we like cruising so we want to do it more anyways so uh we don't have any excursions planned at all throughout this entire one and uh and so we're just gonna maybe get off maybe see what's going on we really want to do the splash pad madison is dying to go to the splash pad and i think tomorrow will be a great day to do that yeah so that's going to be it for tonight madison you want to come close this out so, 
My name's Rob. My name's not Rob. <laughs> no, your name's not Rob. <laughs> I'm Rob. Um, I'm Madison. From here today. Well, well tomorrow, and we'll see you there. That's a good job. Good night, guys. Good night. See you manana. See you manana. Join us in the next episode where we explore a wet and rainy Puerto Vallarta before heading to the splash pad and checking out the newly complimentary American Diner. That and a whole lot more in the next episode. If you like this video and want to see more, please head on over to the channel and subscribe. And if you want to get notified, ring that little bell. We upload new videos every week.